Hi folks. So I got another one of these 485s from the same person that owned the first one. And it had the exact same problem. It had shorted a shorted capacitor on the 15 volt line. Now before I got it, I fired up the first one, which was this one here, the next day after I posted the video. And went to the house, made a cup of coffee, came back out and I smelled something. I look over in the bench, there's smoke pouring out of this thing. And uh, what had happened is, I had another shorted tantalum. Same thing on the 15 volt line in a different area. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the smoke on this, but uh, it was a lot worse a moment ago when I walked back out here. I left the scope in uh, XY mode with a Lissa juice pattern on it. And uh, yeah, we got another shorter tantalum, but this one's going to be easy to find. And I'll show you why that is. Because that's that one right there that's turned black. You can see all the rest of these are orange. That was one that was smoking. And uh, yeah, it's still a little warm. So we're going to change this one out and leave it on again. It was on for about an hour and I came out here and the garage is filling up with smoke. So I have opened the garage door because tantalums, uh, the smoke from tantalums is considered to be toxic. And uh, I've been exposed to enough toxic stuff in my life. So I'm going to change this out and uh, fire it up again, see what we get. So that one I have right here. And as you can see, this guy is really, really smoked. So I replaced that. And then I ran it for about six or eight hours. I haven't found another one. Now, the guy that owns this is going to change out all the tantalums. I recommend if you get modern replacements of a higher voltage. Uh, two things that make these tantalums go bad are moisture absorption, usually around the legs on these what they call dip tantalums, and um, voltage too close to the limits. Uh, you need to derate them. I forget how many percent, but if you get higher voltage, you'll be better off. And he's capable of replacing the capacitors, but not so much troubleshooting. So he's going to take care of that. And he gave me this one after I told him I got this one working. It was the same thing on the 15 volt line. Uh, it was, however, right in the power supply. Now, this power supply, as I mentioned, is um, fed by the inverter so it's not 60 hertz i believe it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 kilohertz i read this online it was mentioned anecdotally i don't know if it's a fact but anyway that's why they can use smaller capacitors here and can still get pretty good regulation and on this one on the 15 volt this capacitor shorted now this is the electrolytic but this is a tantalum and I'm going to post a picture of it here so you can see it because it looks different than the than the orange dipped ones we're used to seeing. They're, they're kind of oval, uh, egg shaped. This one was not. However, it was just as shorted as the others. I believe Tektronix used these because they were smaller and they believed they would be uh, have better longevity. And as you can see, most of them are still okay, but when they go, their general failure mode is the dead short. And indeed, that's what I found in here. So I just wanted to post a really quick video to let you know what happened with this one. It, the amount of smoke was just amazing. And I believe it's also toxic. I opened the garage door to blow it out. Um, but it's been fine ever since. I ran it for about eight hours the other day, and I don't want I don't want to run it overnight. I want to be able to come out here and check it periodically. But I believe this one's okay, and I'm going to do the same with this one. So I just wanted to make a quick video, let you know what happened here, let you know I got another one, and uh, I'm not going to bother to post the troubleshooting because it was the exact same procedure. So anyway, just wanted to give you a quick update on this, and um, as always, I like giving back to the community that's given me so much. Thanks a lot.